We want you to do what you do best. Be unorthodox. Be lethal. Can you do that for me? We can do that, sir. The story of Battlefield started with a small company in Stockholm called Refraction Games that later merged together with DICE. Um, they were at the time working on a game called Codename Eagle. Uh, this was like the first idea that, the, this was before my time, the first idea of a free roaming multiplayer game where you could, you know, infantry, combat, you have vehicles, air, land, sea, everything. Um, and this idea then gen pretty much generated that Battlefield 1942. Well, I mean, we have a formula, uh, what we like to call the sandbox gameplay, which we think works really, really well. Uh, but at the same point, we can't just stay happy with that and move on. We need to always evolve it and make it better. Uh, for instance, vehicles. We always want to introduce new vehicles. We always want to uh, fiddle around and make the physics better. Maybe add some more team play elements to the different vehicles, etc. And uh, we also make bigger changes, like we did with uh, Battlefield Bad Company 1, where we added the destruction which has been a, a bit of a, a big thing on the wish list for quite some time when it comes to Battlefield. So, so from every Battlefield title to the next, we try to look at what do we want to do with the experience, how can we evolve it, how can we play to our strengths and make it even better. Well, there's, there's a couple of very obvious ones. Uh, the input device is a very big one. Uh, going from mouse to keyboard to the, the gamepad is a big difference. Um, we have tried it now for a couple of times and I think we are really getting into the territory where not just us but a lot of players are accepting that you can have a very competitive and successful shooter on the console. Um, but there's another big thing in the background actually that most people don't think about and that's UI. UI is a very, very big difference when it comes to both font sizes, what kind of elements you can have, etc. So that's a big difference. Well, Battlefield Bad Company 2 is going to ship with four modes. So we have the classical uh, conquest. And then we have Rush, which is what we introduced in, in Bad Company 1 as well. Um, but we have two new modes as well, which is called Squad Rush and Squad Deathmatch. And uh, both of these are more oriented to the actual very smaller team play. So it's you in a, in a squad of four, usually against one other squad or three other squads. So it's tighter, it's faster, and it's, it's pretty hectic actually. Well, we have quite a few that we like. Uh, Erica Harbour is definitely one of them that we really like. But uh, I think this time around, we don't have a specific favor like we've had before when it comes to Wake Island or something like that, or Striker Kakan. I think there's a lot of maps that we really like here and now. Um, so I think we have to let the go, game go out there, and then we play for a while together with everyone in the community, and then, then we'll make up our minds what's our favorite. Well, we, we really want to make it easy to play together with your friends, so we focus quite a bit on making the whole create a squad and join a squad, and uh, making that easier for people to get into uh, the game and play together. Uh, also to try to keep that persistent over game, so you, when you shift the maps, you stay together, and everything like that. Um, that is, of course, because we really want people to play as a team. We feel that's very important for us. So if you come in as a squad, you, you don't have to play. We're not forcing team play on top of you. But if you play as a squad, as a team, you'll get more points, more support uh, score, this, this kind of stuff.